Okay, this video clip is the second uh, in a series on how to create a, a menu on the left side of our, our web page. Um, so depending on how you're numbering your your videos here, but uh, this is going to be um, navigation styles part two. This is what we have from last time. We uh, we created two div blocks, one on the left, one on the right, inside of our div content div block, and we want to have our menu here, and we set this up, but it's not quite complete, right? This is what our page kind of looked like beforehand, home one. And we want to make that, we want to make this, uh, put this structure on all our pages. So let's take a look at some other things we can do. Real quick, just as a review, let's take a look at our default page, right? We have our wrapper, our header, our content div blocks, and then we have div left in there, okay, inside of, nested inside div content, and then div right, also nested inside div content, with div footer at the bottom, right? Okay, <clears throat> and so what we want to do, we've got our menu in here. The unordered list. We've also created an ID, right, for for the unordered list. We could have used a class style as well for this, but we did it this way. And then looking at styles, what we have is our list menu. That's the unordered list. And we set these. Um, you know, took away the bullets, moved it over to the left a little bit, set some padding, which, by the way, I think is incorrect. We're going to have to move that in a minute. So the next thing we want to do is let's we want to create a hover effect. And uh, what we'll do is we'll do list item list menu, sorry, list menu, a colon, and now we can do hover, okay, and for this one, let's just say we want the color to be red, and the background color to be, say, white, right? and let's take a look at that, and then we'll go over here and preview it in the browser, and now you can see as I move my mouse over it, we're going to have a, little, a good effect going here. If you notice though, I think for the padding, there's like a couple of pixels here that are not in white. And to fix that, we can move this down. I think we put it on the wrong, on the wrong one in the last video clip. We can take the padding out of the LI now, if you want, and put it on the anchor. All right, now if I do that, let's just see how that works. Hit refresh. See if you can see it. I think there's a few yellow pixels there. If I, if I refresh, now it looks like it goes all the way over. All right, and you can make this a little bit um, higher too. The height of each list item. Maybe I want to make the list item height, for instance, I don't know, 25 pixels. Okay, so if I did that, depending on the size that you want, right? Refresh. There you go. Now you notice that the that the hover though is not that. It doesn't take up the whole the whole block. So again, you'd have to do the uh, the height for the hover as well, or for the anchor as well, right? So you can put that in there as well. Where's my anchor? Here we go. And if I refresh that, you'll see, hopefully, right? There we go. Now we got the whole thing. Now we could even make it a little bit more pronounced by putting an underline under each one. So for the list item, if you wanted to, we could come down here to the next line. We could say we could put a border. Let's do border bottom, dash bottom. Right. One pixel, black. Maybe I'll make it gray so it's not as uh, pronounced. And we'll make it solid. Right. So now let's see what it looks like. Preview in the browser. <clears throat> so that's not too bad. right? And if you want to, you could either push this all the way up to the top um, or you could actually style it with, um, if you want to just, for some reason, you need to get a line on that top one. right? Because if you put border bottom and top, then it's going to be double in here. It'll be thicker. It might not look right. Uh, one quick way around that would be if you went to your default here. And uh, for this, this is the first item. You could give this an ID as well. You could say first um, item. Uh, this is sort of a shortcut way around it, I guess. And then you could always say first item, right, endless menu. Uh, actually, I could just do it. Well, I'll do it after the list menu. We'll just do it down here. First item, pound sign, first item, right? And we could just say that that's got a border top now, right? So border dash top, and type, and that's going to be what one pixel. We said gray, and it's going to be solid. All right. So now let's just see how that looks. So again, oops, there we go. So you'll get this once in a while to save the embedded files. That's okay, click OK. And refresh. 
and there you go. Now you got a little bit of a border up there. So the, now the next thing to do would be to, uh, you know, copy home. You know, I could right click and copy this, right, and uh, and paste it. Actually, you know what I want before I do that. I should probably let's delete that. I should probably just put my div block structure in there first. So if you wanted to to look the same, you would open up home now, right? And inside of div content, you need to put this other stuff. So you have to go over to div, div uh, your first one, your HTML, and I'm going to just copy div left, okay, inside content. So I'll go to home, put that in there, right? And then I can put my div right, copy that, over to, to home one, right? Tab it over. And now I have to put an ending div block at the end of the table. Right, and I want, oops, I don't want to, I want a slash here, right? Oh, this will be my ending div block. And now I need to indent my table a little bit, just like before. So it's, didn't scroll too fast here. So it gets us up here. Come on, here we go. And then I'll just hit the tab key and it will indent it one, right? And now this should be the same as, for the most part, ah, come back here, as default page. All right, so there you go. Now the only difference is we want to know what page we're on. So let's uh, let's preview this. So I'll hit refresh. I'll go to property one. And it really doesn't tell me where I am. So another way that we can do this with styles, we want to let the user know what page they're currently on, um, is to maybe highlight the menu item. And we have it up here in the title, right? But you might want to do a little bit more. So what I can do then, let's quit create a class, okay, and uh, for this one. And we'll call this class um, current page, right? Current page. And for this one, let's just say with the background color is gold, the same as the color for the body of the right div block. All right. So let's see if we can where we can place this. So ideally, what we want. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy this current page. And for default, right? This is the current page. So right on the anchor, it's right on the anchor tag. I'm going to say class equals, and it should come up in your IntelliSense, by the way, if you're using Expression Web. So now when I'm on this page, let's see what it looks like. Save this again, okay? Saves it all. Refresh. I go back to home. Now you can see that it sort of blends in. It looks like it's right there. So we're going to do the same thing for property too. So what do we do? We come over and we take this current or this class, right? I'm going to come over to home one and now on property home one or property one make that the current page okay and then let's preview this in the browser so now if I click on property one now that's the current page and so you could do the same thing for property two and now all you have to do is really is uh, right click on home one and paste it and rename it property two and then change everything else inside the way you need to do it all right, so that concludes how to create a, create a menu on the left side of our web pages.